Hey guys, Tomboy601, and today we have New Jersey, the new Azure Lane, Iowa copy, the third of the four Iowa quadruplets, if you will, um, a brand new premium ship, uh, and we have a review of it today. If you haven't been around for one of our reviews before, we're going to go over the commander, the module, the uh, consumables. Should go through all the stats and then show off a game in it. So if that sounds like a good time to you, make sure you stay tuned. So who do we have commanding Azur Lane, New Jersey? Well, none other than Azur Lane, New Jersey herself. I know, big shocker. Uh, as far as inspirations go, we are just trying to go full on accuracy with a little bit of the extra damage. Uh, we have Sharnhorse and Arthas, the cold Arthas. Um, it's going to give you a 20% boost to damage when using uh, your your fighter plane, which you'll see why we're doing that. Uh, then, as far as skills go for Azurlane, New Jersey, we have Flamble Cannoneer, Gyrating Drill Bits, Firefighter, her unique skill, Don't You Just Love It, which at, with our current rank up is going to boost Citadel damage by 12.5%, and, and then Will to Rebuild. As far as our mod slots go, well... In the first slot, we are running uh, Main Battery Mod 2 for added turret traverse. Then the good old Steering Gears mod. Then Concealment mod. And finally, Artillery artillery Plotting Room. You know, that one thing that you're probably trying to grind towards to get the, uh, the ultimate mod on. So we, those are our mods. What are our consumables? Same thing as Iowa. Uh, you have Damage Control Party, 12 second duration. Uh, 70.4 second reload time. Repair party, 492 health uh, recovered every second for a total of 9,643 9, health recovered per heal. It's going to last 19.6 seconds, going to reload in 80 seconds, and you're going to get three charges of it. And then finally, we have the good old Catapult Fighter. It's going to be up for 27 seconds, going to reload in 80 seconds. Unfortunately, only enough time to put out one salvo. So those are the consumables. Let's go ahead and dive on into the stats. So Azurlay, New Jersey, 67,000 health with an armor thickness between 6 and 439 meters. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the armor view. But uh, there's nothing that should be a surprise here. 32 millimeter bow, uh, 50 millimeter or uh, 32 to 38 millimeter deck. A citadel that you should know very well. Um, you know, there's there's nothing nothing too surprising here. It's in Iowa. It's been one of the it's been it was one of the first battleships in the game. You should know this armor scheme by now. Um, so nothing really to point out here. Torpedo reduction on the vessel is going to be twenty five percent, and then total potential health is ninety five thousand nine twenty nine. Next up, we have the main battery three three barreled. 406 millimeter guns with a firing range of 19.5 kilometers, a reload time of 31 seconds, giving you a shells per minute of 17. 180 time on those guns, 28.6 seconds. You're going to do 5,700 HE damage, uh, which is 96,900 DPM, um, and, that, and those shells will have a 36% chance to set fire. AP, you're looking at 14,410 which means it'll do 1,400 on overpens, which is pretty good. Uh, DPM of that is going to be 244,970, just eking out uh, her sister ship. Mind you, there are a couple of things here, especially when we're running Azurlane, New Jersey. Any sh Anything we fire at over 10 kilometers, we'll get an additional boost on that. So there's all that. Secondaries, you got 10 two-barreled 127-millimeter guns. Uh, firing range on them, only going to be 5 kilometers you're going to reload in six seconds, do 1,800 damage, and they're going to have a 5% chance to set fire. Next up, we have AA, 5-kilometer range, 151 minimum damage, 648 maximum damage, so pretty respectable for the tier. It's kind of what you would expect from the Iowa. Max speed of the vessel, 27 knots with a turning radius of 920 meters and a rudder shift time of 15.6 seconds. Finally, concealment of the vessel, you're looking at 13.2 kilometers by sea, 11.1 by air, and 14.8 when firing and smoking. Those are all of the stats of Azur Lane, New Jersey. So, uh, you know, nothing, nothing too surprising there. 
uh, you know, we'll go ahead and talk about everything else and let's go ahead and just dive on in to that game with it. So welcome to the good old Northern waters, uh, Azur Lane, New Jersey. Do you need the ship? Well, if you have Iowa, probably not. Oh, uh, let's, let's open this review with that just right here. If you have Iowa, there is no huge need to get uh, Azur Lane, New Jersey, unless in case you just want the, uh, the, you know, the, at this point, the three Iowa ships. We don't know if we'll ever get Wisconsin, making it the four, but we, uh, we don't know if we'll ever get the four. So if you want all three, this is going to be the New Jersey in this game, but you know, don't, don't hold your breath for like a tech tree. This will, this will be its representation. Anyways, as we start out here, uh, sadly, we don't get to spread our legs as soon as we want. I want to head out to the flank, try to get some crossfires going because, uh, well, this build is all about getting crossfires and uh, we can't just like slip past our teammate there. So as soon as he's clear, we're going to hit full throttle. Anyways, differences between Azur Lane, New Jersey and Azur and uh, regular old Iowa. Well, uh, you're going to get a main battery range increase from 17.7 kilometers. Uh, New Jersey's base firing range is 18 kilometers, so fairly decent there. Uh, the, the, the probably the selling point if you will, I'm going to call that in rabbit ears and in quotation marks, the selling point is improved accuracy. You're going to have a better Sigma from 1.8 to 1.9, which are just all made up numbers. And it's kind of hard to tell because you'll get some beautiful shots. You'll get some normal Iowa shots. So, you know, it's all RNG. It's all roll the dice. Uh, the AP and HE both have a higher, I believe it's about a hundred meter per second added, uh, uh, rate, or maybe it's like 60. I think, I think it's like 790. They were like 790 and they go up to like 850 ish, if I recall correctly. Uh, so you're looking at a small, a, a decent bump, I would say to the overall shell velocity. Of course, uh, that can be a good and a bad thing because well, Shell velocity is part of what gets factored in to the AP penetration formula. So if you have too high of an AP, if you have too much penetration, you're going to overpen. And we know that is a very common complaint amongst battleship players is the amount of overpens you're getting. So uh, this ship does have the potential to overpen a bit more than the Iowa. Uh, and then we get into the negatives of, of this vessel, uh, decreased HP, Iowa, your base HP is 70,000. You're going to go down to 67,000 with, uh, New Jersey. And then the main battery reload time is increased by one second. So if all of those trade-offs sound fun to you, maybe consider getting New Jersey. Like I said, I don't think personally, Tommy boy, the, the person before he was a CC who who would have had to pay for it and not get it from wargaming as part of, you know, hey, you're a CC, here's, here's some things to make videos about. Uh, I would not be caring about this at all. Um, I think I've, I've said it multiple times before I was a CC. Did not, I was not a big money spender in this game. Um, it's only once I became a CC and I wanted to be able to get the rest of the ships that I had missed out on that I began to dabble with the wallet a bit more severely. So when I say this thing is, you don't really need it. Trust me when I say you don't really need it. Azur Lane, the commander though, depending on uh, the way you look at things, you may want. Anyways, uh, we finally made it out to the point where I wanted to start kiting back into the map. We've we've come out. Um, we're leaving ourselves a little bit of room off to the left-hand side in case we need to maneuver, but we have this moss right here. And more importantly, we have an island between us and this moss, which means uh, we're going to be able to maintain the fact that we don't have spotting. We also do have a battleship and a destroyer within the area. As far as what my plan is right now is, well, uh, that Moss probably doesn't have his torpedoes loaded because we can see some torpedoes kind of going out as uh, he gets the kill on our dear friendly Gneisenau, now, which means uh, German smoke by the time it's been uh, completed, by the time it's finished dispersing, he... Uh, he won't have his torpedoes, which means it's safe for us to kind of push up into his smoke, use his smoke as cover, and then just kind of be a welcoming party for when he gets spotted. 
Uh, he gets spotted a little bit earlier. We have the HE loaded for him. We'll go ahead, uh, say adieu to our friend in the Moss. I know that's not uh, German for goodbye, but you, you understand. He's, he's out of here. Cool. Next up, we have this Iowa. Um, we're going to try to kind of make our way towards C. We're going to go ahead and flip over to uh, a, AP. We're already getting that loaded. And, well, the way he's angled right now is looking a little promising. You know what I mean? Um, so we're going to go ahead and you plan to use our uh, our our plane on, on this shot, right? We get one... We get three shots a game where we can boost the damage of that shot by 20%. We're going to go ahead and get that rear gun ready. Let the plane up because it really doesn't matter. We've just committed to taking the shot in the next uh, 30 seconds. I'm going to lead him just a tad right there. And, uh, well, the shot, the shot is out. He's probably looking at us now. And, well, he can't be looking at us anymore. There we go. Four Citadels <laughs> with a Zerlay, New Jersey. And uh, he's he's out of here. He's gone. He's he's no he is no more. And we have now cleared this side of the map. And our team has well taken fairly effective map control. So go go team. We're we're doing we're doing great right here. Uh, we're now going to go ahead and use uh, our plotting speed. One of the downsides to his early New Jersey is we're still running gyrating drill bit, drill, gyrating drill bits, which is still going to take away from our max speed and as a result it's going to take us a little bit of time to get over there but we can see the rest of the enemy team kind of over there so we're going to just start making our way over on to the other side of the map and as we do um kind of thoughts the final thoughts on new jersey as we as we make this uh pilgrimage on over like i said earlier i honestly i don't think you anyone really needs new jersey uh at the ship it it it's seventeen thousand five hundred doubloons go there are plenty of great games right now that you could spend that equivalent money on and get uh you know if 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 you haven't played ever played dead space the dead space remake is absolutely incredible personally hogwarts legacy has been looking incredible the reviews came out today not from a lot of outlets so i'm kind of waiting on that one but that one Kind of has struck my eye. Anyway, Nelson pops up right there. We're going to go ahead and uh, take our shot at Nelson because um, he has very little health left, and those two are most likely using will to rebuild off of each other, so we want to get one battleship out, and then we'll have this next salvo up for Bismarck. But what, what I'm trying to say is, right now, there's lots of fantastic games out there. If you're considering spending the 17,500 doubloons on Azur Lane, New Jersey, might I interest you in any number of incredible games that are currently out there um, that you can buy for your same console. Uh, like I said, Dead Space um, has has been fantastic. Anyways, we take out Bismarck, they end up losing all the rest of their points, and that is the match. Um, you know, like I said, it's it's an Iowa. It's slightly more accurate. It's pretty fun. Azurle Nelson, the commander, kind of makes it makes this game. Uh, she she provides a new play style which you'd usually associate with a premium ship. This one, not really a new play style. Anyways, guys, that's the game. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.